Good morning. Happy Saturday. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Before I begin this video, I just want to mention to come back tonight if you're interested in the Saturday evening chat. It's going to be a really good one. Um, at least I believe so anyway, but check it out. 7.45 p.m. tonight Eastern time. Thank you so much. Let's begin with this spending money quiz, okay? I created this quiz with a few questions. Sometimes we just don't realize things until we kind of sort of look at it on paper. And there are no right and there are no wrong answers. The answers are your own answers, okay? And you're not going to be evaluated, let's say, uh, with a test result number, like, oh, I got 100% on the test. No, because there are no right or wrong answers. You're going to say to yourself, well, Jan, why am I doing this quiz? You can do this quiz, quiz optionally just to see on paper where you're at and look at it as an overall picture, like look at your answers kind of thing. It's good to look at your own answers. I had to look at my answers too. So I was happy with my answers, um, but I think these questions make a lot of sense. This is just like sort of like a little bit of a snapshot of what we do with our money. Whoever is interested could, you know, participate. All right, question one. I dine out about how many times a month? Question one, I dine out about how many times a month? Next, how much does it cost me every month to dine out? So some of these, of course, are going to take time because you have to calculate. All right. I told you I could be a bit of a bean counter, and that's another show. Next, I spend this much money every week on groceries. You could uh, write it down as every week, your grocery money every week or for every month, whichever one works for you. I spend this much money every month or every week on groceries and, of course, the bird clock. Okay, true or false? This is easy. I never make coffee at home and only drink outside coffee. True or false? Okay. Next, how much do I spend on convenience stores each month? Now, I get into that in a future upload, okay? Because honestly, I think people many times forget about those little stop-offs. Oh, jump in a car, stop off at your local convenience store and get whatever. How much do I spend on convenience stores each month? There's a reason why they're so convenient. Am I right or am I right? All right, next. Every single month, I am able to put something away towards savings. True or false? Every single month, I can put something away towards savings. All right. Next. True or false. Now, this is ironclad. It's either true or it's false. There's no in between. True or false. I am completely debt free. Now, I'm not talking about, let's say you pay $200 uh, to... Um, to purchase something and you have the $200 ready to pay off your card and you're squared, squared away. That doesn't count. I'm talking about leftover debt. True or false, I am completely debt free. In other words, you're not making little payments. All right. True or false, all of my credit cards are currently maxed out. True or false. Excuse me. Next, I am already saving up for the holidays with a name it or claim it fund. I am already saving up for the holidays with a name it or claim it fund. All right. Next, I bring my lunch to work. True or false? Now, 
that might be yes, no, or sometimes. So true, yes, you bring it. Sometimes you bring it. Or false, you never bring it. Okay? Remember, no judgment. This is just a snapshot of your habits. Okay? To look at it. Okay, next. I have an emergency fund. True or false? Either yes, you have an emergency fund, or no, you don't have an emergency fund. And may I add, your credit card is not your emergency fund plan. One may use it to convey the cash, but it is not your emergency fund. Okay? All right. Separate issue. I've done many videos discussing the difference. Okay. Next. And last. True or false? I started a grocery stockpile. Mm, 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 mm. True or false? I started a grocery stockpile. While there are no uh, like specifics about rights or wrongs, you know deep down which needs improvement. Let's go over some of these questions for a second. The beginning one. I dine out about how many times a month? In my case, zero. That's my choice. If somebody invites me and uh, literally they invite me and they want to pay for it, thank you. But I don't want to pay money dining out. I'm kind of extreme in that area about dining out. That's just Janet. That's just me. I'm not telling anybody what to do. How much does it cost me to dine out? Zero. <laughs> Okay, I spend this much money every month on groceries. I try to keep my groceries at about 50 to maximum $60 a week. But this includes non-food items too. So we're talking about things that are not food items, okay? So let's say I need, you know, shampoo, you know, something of that nature. All right. Uh, next. I never make coffee at home and only drink outside coffee. Not this yet, uh, young lady that's 65 and a half. <laughs> I always make my coffee at home, and I'm proud of my 25-cent cup of joe. To this day, 25 cents, <laughs> even in 2024. I mean, look, if, if I'm on a trip somewhere and, you know, you know, and I have no choice, I really want to stop off and grab a coffee, but I'm always prepared. So for myself, honestly, I, I really just don't do it. I guess I'm tight as a clam. <laughs> Next, how much do I spend on convenience stores each month? I avoid convenience stores like the plague. This is me. I'm just sharing, you know, you know, my thing. Okay. Convenience stores are great. Convenience stores, I'm glad they exist. Convenience stores are there for a purpose, but to make like a habit because I don't play the lottery. You know, I just don't do that. I, I, I don't do that. So, uh, for example, I don't like spending two, three dollars for a bottle of water. No, I don't. I don't mind maybe buying a jug of water to hold for emergencies, but I make my own Brita water at home and I could do whatever I want with that. I believe if there's a way to achieve the same goal and just find a less expensive way to do it, and still arrive at the same destination, the same goal. Well, why should I pay more for the same goal? This is the way I think. I don't expect everyone to think the way I do, but it's the way I just happen to think. All right. Every single month, I am able to put something away for saving. Yes, that's the goal. That's the goal. Okay. Next, true or false? I am debt free. True. Okay, next. If I am in debt, how much do I owe? Well, zero. But only you can answer your questions the way you answer your questions. Okay? True or false, all my credit cards are maxed out. That, that question is not applicable for me. Or, applic or applicable is the way I learned how to say it. Well, all of a sudden, in the last 10 years, people say applicable. When I was growing up, we used to say it applicable. <laughs> put that in my feather in my cap <laughs> next i am already saving up for the holidays with a name it or claim it fund yes i am yeah because i always tell myself this every year and i tell you guys this every year january still comes but jan it's like the end of july you're talking about january 
I'm talking about name it and claim it funds. And yes, I do have a holiday fund, the way I do not feel the pinch. I don't want to be paying off a 2022 holiday savings. We, I got, I mean, holiday debt. There are people right this minute, and it bears worth repeating. There are people literally right this minute, and even Debbie mentioned this on one of her videos, and I saw this on another news show, paying off 2022 holiday debt. I kid you not. No, 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 no. That would scare the bejeebers out of me. Oh, my word. The thought of that. Ooh. But you know what? Unfortunately, there are some people who are doing just that. My heart and prayers go out that they clean that up so they can be free of debt. And everybody can be free of debt. Just have to want to enough. A person has to want to enough. I bring my lunch to work. Yes, true. Even if I work from home, I still don't order in. Can you imagine that there are people that work from home? Work from home. And they're still calling in an order for lunch. What? I'm like, how much effort does it take to walk to the refrigerator and put a lunch together? Or they just didn't shop. But that's its own show. And that comes with just like time management. I know your favorite subject, not. <laughs> yeah, but time management is also money management secretly. People don't realize that. I have an emergency fund. Yes. I started a grocery stockpile. Yes. Two, two, about two to two and a half years ago. Listen, it doesn't take up a whole room or anything. It's not like that. But I know it's there. And every little week. Every little week that goes by, I put a little bit something towards it. That's how I do it. I don't, I don't do it like, oh, I, I want to, you know, build this, you know, big, big thing going on right quick. No, 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 no. For me, no. For me, better baby bites. Everything I do is in baby bites. I like to save in baby bites. I like to work in baby bites. You get your shows all the time. How come? Because I do things incrementally without getting overwhelmed. The only time I do batch recording are the no frills because those are purposely done shorter on purpose for the whole week. But everything else, if it's Friday, I'll record for next Friday. You see where I'm going with that? That way it's not overwhelming, but you guys get the end result. All right. So take a look at your own snapshot and ask yourself, can this improve? Are there things I'm, I've been overlooking? Are those numbers adding up? Take a really, really good look. That's why I devised this little quiz. And thank you for those who participated. You're only going to help yourself that much more. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to come back tonight, Saturday night, all right, for the Saturday evening chat. There are some money-keeping tips at first. It's a two-parter in one video. Money-keeping tips at first. And then the second part is when I start getting into the fill in the blanks type of uh, the video. Have a great day, everybody. Take good care. Thank you.